Hello. It's very nice to see you again. Today, we learn about three R's. Means reuse, reduce, and recycle. As usual, before the class, I'll remind you not to forget. Wash your hands regularly. Wear masks outside. Help your parents and stay home. In the last classes, we have learned about weather idioms and idioms with weather words. Can you remember? It's raining cats and dogs. You can see the translations. It's been raining for two days. Lovely weather for ducks. Lovely weather for ducks. The match had just begun when the heavens opened and the play was suspended. Heavens opened. And these idioms are not about weather, but they have some weather words. I don't want the public and especially not the press to get wind of it at this stage. To get wind. Likely she had saved some more money for a rainy day. Save some money for a rainy day. Can you see the translations? Good. Come rain or come shine. I'm going to pass my English exam. Come rain or shine. Yamarch hundu tolar suik sotahan. I was on cloud nine once I had completed. Be on cloud nine. He's not going to work today. He might be under the weather. Be under the weather means being taro be salt of Okay. And also, we had some new words. You should remember, once again, climate change, deforestation, greenhouse effect, greenhouse gases, global warming, acid rain, soil erosion, pollution. And you remember that we had some homework, but some students sent me their homework. We had some questions, you must remember. And they sent me their homework. Can you see them? Okay, I'm going to read you some of their works. The homework was to write about protecting our planet starts with you. The first question was, do you agree with protecting our planet starts with you. You should give some reasons. Some students gave their answers like this. Yes, absolutely, because it's the only home we have and it grounds li as like we all need. A breath of a fresh air or drink, some pure water, so we have to protect this planet by ourselves. Inkma. So Inkchin wrote, most of the pollution is caused by human lands. The question two was, how can you protect the environment as a student? Bayer-Jarl wrote, adults think that we are just kids, but we are human too. For me, I can do things like planting trees, save water, recycling and not throwing rubbish. And Inkchin wrote, also, we can do so many things to protect a fee, recycle, plant trees, and drive less, we can reduce pollution. And Iron Girl wrote, we shouldn't use single-use bags and plastic bottles. The question three was, why do you need to protect the earth? Inkchim wrote, the earth she gives us everything she has, and all we need. There is no more planet that we can live in, Anochin. And Inkma wrote, we can protect this planet with our own hands too. Protecting our planet is like prote protecting our home. We do not make our home dirty. 
And the last question was, how do people damage the environment? Everybody thinks that factories and mines are the cause of pollution, but even normal citizen is polluting the earth too. Virgil wrote this, it's true. You think so, too. There are a lot of people who are irresponsible. They are cutting off trees and throwing the garbage into the ocean. It's by Anujin, she wrote this. So thank you, you guys that soon sent me your homework. How you prepared your book? Can you open the page number 130? And you should prepare your notepads and pens, pencils. Today, uh, lessons of the objectives are watching a video about recycling, reusing, and reducing. Also, expressing personal feelings and opinions, suggesting free hours. Also, we'll use the model verbs, should, shouldn't, for advice, and must, mustn't, for rules. Okay, let's go on. Can you watch this video? Hello, I am the Earth. Yep, the very planet you live on. They are three words which start with the letter R, which I love. They are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Do you know why I love them so much? Because they are almost magical words. They can make all living things, as well as myself, be happier. I said that they are almost magical, because without your help, it won't work. They need all of you children in order to do the trick. Each and every one of you are the real three R's magicians, those three words which can change the world. Do you want to know how? Yes? Well, let's find out. The first R is for reduce. If you think about it, there are many things you don't need. When you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you can take your own canvas bags instead of using disposable ones given to you. Like that, you will be reducing the amount of plastic, which is very contaminating. And I'm sure that you don't need to print out so many documents or photos, nor leave lights, television, or computers on when you're not using them. If you remember this, you'll be reducing the amount of paper being used as well as energy, and in turn will be helping to reduce the contamination. And these are just a few examples. I am sure you can think of many more different ways to reduce what you are using or creating unnecessary waste. The following question will help you with this task. Do I really need this or is this just a whim? The second R is for recycling. Now it is easier than ever to recycle things we don't need anymore so that they can be reused. Near your home, you can find places like the recycling station and containers for cans, plastic, paper, or organic waste. They each have specific colors to make it easier to identify. By using them, you will avoid contaminating nature, the rivers and seas, as well as the atmosphere, which is the air we breathe. And finally, we have the third R, which refers to reuse. How many things do you think we can reuse again and again instead of throwing them away? Let's see. A piece of paper that has only one side printed on, a carton box, a plastic bottle. You think now, with just a little bit of imagination, I'm sure you can come up with many more exciting and fun new uses for them. And remember, if you apply the three R's rule, you will make me a much cleaner planet with less contamination and where we can all enjoy a better life. Because, as you know, children can make the world of difference.
So we have watched the video. Could you answer these questions, please? Should we recycle, reduce, reuse? Shouldn't we print out so many documents or photos? What do you think? Uh, shouldn't we leave lights, television, or computers on when we not using them? Actually, we do like this all the time. We turn on televisions and computers. Can these three words change the world? And how? We'll find out if these three words can ch change the world. So first word is reduce. Means and borod. It means uh, make something smaller in size, number of price. We should reduce the amount of garbage we create. For example, we should avoid using plastic bags. Uh, our factories should use smaller quantities of packing materials to work the same products. Can you see the picture? We should use organic bags instead of using plastic bags. So how to be a reducer? We must save water. We must turn off the water while brushing your teeth, our teeth. We should work or ride instead of driving. Also, we should more things. We should more make and see things, but buy less. And also, we should use energy-efficient light bulbs. Second word is reuse. Reuse means use all things in new ways. Every day we buy a lot of things from the shop, but we use them just once. For example, when we finish oil, we throw away the plastic bottle into the recycle bin. But we can use the plastic bottle as a container for milk or as a container of flower pots. Can you see this beautiful flower pots on this display? How to be a re reuser? How to be a reuser? We should use a reusable grocery bags. We should use reusable lunch boxes. We should use backside of paper. We should use materials for crafts. So also, there are some nice ideas for crafting. You can have some ideas, more nice ideas. I'll show you them. This is coffee made pot, but we can use it in the kitchen like this. What do you think? It's a pen case, but it's made of plastic bottle. Also, this is a shampoo bottle, but uh, how do we change it into pen case hanging on the wall? Also, you can see these old tires. We can reuse these tires like this in the garden. And uh, the piglets, we can use to save some money on it. And also CDs. I think you have so many not useful CDs in your home, but we can change it into moon and stars. And the, the big idea for reusing is uh, remade old clothes like this. These are all old jeans, but it's made into very fashionable and very useful things. Bags, dress, or sofa cover. And uh, you can see some souvenirs like this. And uh, you can convert men's shirt into tote bag. And also this tops. And do you, everybody knows that uh, Princess Diana, she's very famous for her beautifulness. Uh, so she's very beautiful Princess of Wales. And uh, she remarried her dress is completely different. Can you see this uh, blue dress? She made it very fashionable one. Floral dress. It changed into very fashionable 
skirt and uh, this striped dress and also this spotted top. You can use your dresses also like her. It's a big uh, example for us. And the last word is recycle. Recycle means everything can be used again. Manufacturers produce new products from cans, bottles, old clothes, and even leftover food. As a result of these new ideas, we can use many new products every day. For example, bottles can be used as a de designed lights. You can see a bottle, you use it, it's uh, changed into very designed lights and also kitchen tiles are made of glasses. How to be a recycler? It's uh, very important. We should recycle plastic containers. We should recycle soda cans. We should recycle cardboard boxes. We should recycle paper, newspapers, and magazines. We should compost the leaves and the yard waste, just not to burn out. To be a recycler, we should do waste sorting. If the dry waste gets wet, some recyclers will reject because it will then cost too much to recycle. You know, but in Mongolia we don't uh, make, uh, uh, we don't do was sorting, you know. So the first one is keep separate containers for dry and wet waste in the kitchen. Keep two bags for dry waste collection. You can throw this uh, waste, paper and plastic for the rest of the household waste. But we send the uh, Wet waste out of your home daily, but store and send dry waste out of the home once a week. Can you say, see there's two kinds of waste bins for wet and for dry ones? At the last, let's be a reducer, reuser and recycler. Now we can answer the questions. Should we reduce, reuse or and recycle? Shouldn't we print out so many documents or photos? Mustn't we leave lights, television, or computers on when we're not using them? Can these three words change the world? So we have the answers. We should be reducer, reuser, and recycler. We shouldn't print out so many documents or photos. We mustn't leave light, television, or computers on when we're not using them. These three words can change the world. So let's have a quiz. How friendly are you to the environment? Question one. When we have old clothes or old furniture, I usually A. Throw them away. B. Give them away. So you should use your pens and uh, just uh, write your answers. A answer has three points, and the B answer has one point or one score. At the end of the quiz, you should add all the points, and you're going to find how friendly are you into the environment. Second question is, when I go shopping, I take my own shopping bag to the store. A, always. B, usually. C, Sometimes, D, rarely, E, never. This answer has all different scores, you see. Question three. I usually wash my clothes in water. Answers are A, hot, B, warm, C, cold. Four, I, Recycle newspapers and magazines. A. Always. B. Usually. C. Sometimes. D. Rarely. E. Never. Question 5. My main method of transportation is A. Walking. B. Biking. C. Bus. 
and the single car. Have you choose your answers? Let's go on. Six. I make an effort to buy recycled goods when they are available. Answers I A usually, B sometimes, C rarely, and D never. Question seven. I usually dry my clothes. A on a clothes line, B in a clothes dryer machine. Question A. I eat vegetables times a week. Answers A. 5 to 7. B. 3 to 5. C. Less than 3. These three answers have different scores. 9. When I have leftovers, I a. Eat them at another meal. B. Throw them out. The last one. I. Use public transportation. I. Use public transportation. Answers A. Usually. B. Sometimes. C. Rarely. D. Never. Okay. Can you add all your scores, all your points you have chosen? Let's make, let's check scores, the answers. If you have 10 to 15 scores, you are very friendly to the earth. If you have 16 to 20 scores, somewhat friendly to the earth. If you have 21 to 25 scores, you need some improvement. If you have 26, 30 scores, you are not friendly to the earth. If you have 20, 31 and more 35 scores, you are an enemy of the planet. How many scores have you got? I don't think so. You are not the last scores, means the red ones. You are not the red ones. I hope you guys are all the green ones. You have checked your answers. Very good. Let's go on. The last one is it's homework. Homework has two parts. The first one, you have some questions. Do you have any fantastic ideas to reduce using plastic bags, reuse old clothes? If you have some any fantastic ideas, could you share your new ideas with your friends or with your English teachers? Is it possible to do waste sorting in your hometown? Do you sort your waste? It means, do you sort your waste into dry or wet? And the question, the last question is, how green are you? The second part is, can you do self-check tasks of Unit 8? And that's all for today. See you next time.